Okay. So, I've done my Damascus edge all the way across, and now I'm in the process of weaving these ends back in uh, to the channels created by the warp and the weft. And I try and keep an even tension. Don't pull it real tight. You can always pull it tighter later if you want to. Um, and then I'll, I'll show you how I weave it. But um, so with these th that are already woven, then I take, I put a little tension on these and pull a little bit and then hopefully that'll kind of pop back in there so you don't see it. And of course I'm trying to be careful. Uh, I'm using these little, um, I don't know what you call these scissors, but uh, um, I just got uh, actually a set of three of these and I just absolutely love them. I have uh, one at each loom and then I have another pair that I can keep around. So anyway, so once you're happy with your tension, um, and I usually actually kind of go all the way across and then come back and trim, but I wanted to go ahead and kind of get some of these out of the way so you could see what I'm doing. So, okay, so what I'm using, my two tools, I have a tapestry needle here with a large eye, and then I have a, just a piece of wire that I'm using to help me to thread um, the yarn through the needle because this is so thick. I mean, there's just, it would be really hard um, to try and get this to go through the eye of the needle. So uh, I'm using this little pot, uh, uh, piece of wire as a, a needle threader. And what I like to do is, let's see, where's this one going? I forgot where I had threaded that last one. Okay, so you're going to find your channel and just thread that needle through. And I like to put the needle through and then thread the, the warp, so it's kind of up to you but I put it through most of the way. And here you can see if I had like a really short piece of yarn, it'd be hard to get it to, to thread through there. And then I just slip my piece of wire through there and let my yarn go through, pull it through, and then, oops. And I'm trying to avoid uh, pulling this really tight so I can adjust it because I want them all to be even and it's harder if you get it too tight than if it's too loose. Okay, so I'll do another one. So go to the next section or channel, and I try not to uh, line up where the warp is gonna come up out so that they all come out in the same place. I want them to come out at different places, so I want them to be staggered so it's not so obvious where um, I threaded that. So I've got my yarn going through the um, tapestry needle, and then I pull through. And sometimes it kind of gets stuck in there, so I kind of find where the loose end is and pull that through. So, so you can see if you had like a really long warp, it would make it more awkward, but if it was really short, it wouldn't work very well either. So I'll do another one. And I'm really being careful that I don't accidentally come out on the other side. So you always want to kind of pay attention to that as well. So I've got my tapestry needle in there. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And I've got my little wire loop. If you had a uh, more compact warp, um, it would be easier to thread. The warp I have here is a four-ply wool, and it starts to unravel, and so the ends get it's kind of big and so it doesn't want to thread through the needle very easily. And we'll do one more. So again, find the channel, thread 
the needle through. So you can see if I had this woven extremely tight, it would be harder uh, to work that needle back through. And this is pretty tight, but it, but it fits back in there. Okay, got my yarn threaded. And you can kind of come back after you get a few done and kind of adjust to make sure that they're all you know, about the same kind of tightness that you want. And that's what it looks like on that side. So just so you can see, you know, if I really work at this, I can get that piece of yarn to go through there without my piece of wire. Um, but I think it's just easier to do it where I put the needle in first. So that's how there is to it. So I'll just work my way across and um, then I'll be ready to put my bag together after I get these all trimmed off.